Hi, in this video, we are going to cover another very important concept of C language that is enumerated type, which is nothing but a user defined customized type. So basically, whenever you are writing a program and you are wishing to give a predefined list to the user out of which he can choose any particular value, you can go for the enumerated type. As here, you can see I have defined a couple of enums here. That is, first is Boolean. Generally, as we know, we don't have any data types such as Boolean in C language. One is for true, zero is for false. But here, we can define that. Like how? In the enum boolean, there are a couple of values, no and yes. Whenever you define a series of such values, each value has an integer constant value. So basically, it, that by default starts with a zero, like the first element here would be having zero, then yes is one. If you have defined more values, continuously it will be like two, three, four and so on. But if you want, you can just change the value. For example, if you will initialize like no is equal to 1, so yes will automatically be 2. Means it will be continuously increasing by 1. Enum days. Next one, again Sunday, Monday, Tuesday till Saturday. So by default again the value, the numerical equivalent for Sunday would be 0. Monday 1, Tuesday 2, 3, 4 and so on. But as you can see, now on Friday, I have initialized it with 7. So the next value will be automatically 8. If you want, you can initialize the value from here itself. Like if you say Sunday is equal to 1, then Monday is 2 and so on. So here, when I say that enum boolean flag, flag is a variable name. And here I have assigned yes. So if I will print the value of flag, then it will print nothing but 1 because it's 0 and here it is 1. So value of flag will be 1 and Thursday will be like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 for Thursday and 8 for Saturday. Since Friday is 7, so next will be incremented by 1. So rather than seeing here, let's have a practical implementation of enumerated types. Now here in this implementation of enums, you can observe like I have defined a couple of enums such as first one is boolean containing the couple of values like no and yes and one is days which is containing the values from Sunday to Saturday. Alright, so basically whenever I will define a boolean and I will create a list inside that it will carry the numerical equivalent that is by default it will start from zero like no will be at 0th position and yes will be 1. Similarly, if you will not specify again here, so Sunday is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so till Thursday it's 4. Then for Friday, I explicitly initialize it by 7. So it's 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. And now it is 7. So next one will be 8. So it will automatically increase the value for the next incoming value. Uh, which will be the as I said the numerical equivalent But if you want you can just change the default values as well Like for the very first position. I said Sunday is 1 So this will automatically become 2 then 3 4 5 and now it is 7 and 8 So here as you can see for this flag which is of enum boolean type all right, which is having two values no and yes if I will initialize it with yes, that means it is 1. So when I will print the value of flag, flag which is containing yes and that is nothing but 1. Similarly, because I am printing it as the integer, alright. Next is Thursday. For Thursday, I have stored it inside this days enum. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for Thursday, it's 5 and for Saturday, it's 8. So let's execute and here you can see 1, then 5, then 8. 1 is for yes, 5 is for Thursday and then 8 is for the Saturday. So this is how you can start working with enums and whenever required, you can just use these values directly. Here you will have to be sure like if you have specified sat, 
you will use sat only you will not be able to change it as saturday or with anything else so whenever you want to fix while for taking the incoming string and if you want to assign a numerical equivalent for that you can go for the enums